When we're developing a wind farm, there really is a lot going on behind the scenes. By the time a landowner hears from us, uh, there have been you know, many hours and many dollars already spent vetting a site to make sure that it's a good location to site a wind farm. To develop a project from start to finish usually takes anywhere from two to seven years. When talking to landowners, I always ask them to be patient with us because there are many studies that we need to do. It does take time to perform these studies. Uh, we have to collect at least three years of wind data as an example. So there are three key things developers look for when we start to develop a wind farm. First, a good wind resource. We want to make sure the wind is blowing. We look for access to transmission. We have to have somewhere to plug the wind farm in so the electricity goes onto the grid. And we look for a supportive community. We want to make sure that we're entering a place where landowners are supportive, where they're very interested in seeing this kind of development in their community. Uh, you also have to make sure that ultimately the area is constructible that you know, you're not at the top of a 30,000 foot high mountain where there might be great wind, but how are you gonna get the wind turbines up there? There needs to be some relative proximity to transmission lines. They need access to get the power out. You, know, you can have a great wind resource, but if you're 50 miles from the nearest transmission line, the project probably just won't make sense. Another thing that's needed is a power purchase agreement. You need to have a customer for the electricity that's going out. A power purchase agreement is a long-term contract that EDPR has in place with an off-taker to finance new projects. Just over the last few years, we have seen major changes in how clean energy is purchased. It used to be that utilities were the only entities actually out in the market. Now we have companies like Amazon, Facebook, Google, General Motors, the list goes on and on, not just because it's good for the environment, but also because we can provide a stable source of electricity for many, many years. Because wind and solar generators don't have to buy fuel in order to generate electricity, we can offer a fixed price of electricity to our customers for a very long period of time. Our landowners are our partners. It's not just a quick transaction, it's a 30-year relationship. The relationship between EDPR and the landowner needs to be built on respect and trust. The way that EDPR helps to develop that is creating a lease that protects both the landowner and EDPR. That lease helps us to negotiate our relationship that's going to be existing for 30, 60 plus years. So, you know, a lot of times these are family farms that have been in the family for generations. And some landowners might be worried that they're going to enter into an agreement that they regret. I would want to make sure that all their concerns are, are voiced and that I can address them and make sure they know exactly what they're signing up for. We see our landowners as long-term business partners. We like to enter into agreements that we negotiate fairly and that all parties believe is in their best interest. One of the most important things about the development process is that landowners can ask as many questions as they have and to ask them over and over again if they need to. I've had many landowners over the years contact me and ask me where things stand with the project. The key is to make sure that you have that regular communication. My preference is to do it in person. Well, by the time that the permit is received, by the time we get our county agreements in place, by the time that everybody has signed their lease agreement, from development perspective, we've wrapped up this package in a nice pretty bow for construction and we say good luck. <laughs>